Hey everyone, welcome to episode 61 of Root Beer Library. I am your host, Matthew, and on this channel, we taste root beer soda snacks first, so you don't have to. All right, today we are tasting a boiling birch, what is this, the creamy red birch beer. Super stoked to be tasting this, and let's pop this top and get into it. Alright, so today we are tasting this, um, and we're showing off our, our love for the Chiefs. Yeah, they won again last night. I'm pretty stoked on that one. It's pretty, yeah, man, we're doing good. We're doing good. I say we, um, because I'm a supporter. I don't play for them. Anyway, huge Chiefs fan. Stoked that they're doing well. Uh, you know, fans are smelling Super Bowl, even though we're seven games into the season. But what the heck. But I do want to talk about the camera today and taste some of this wonderful looking birch beer this creamy red birch beer let's pop this thing so I want to talk a little bit about the camera and my experiment this weekend so as I pour this well that looks good so I experimented with a different type of vlogging I look at this as vlogging to an extent I know we're doing like soda reviews, root beer reviews with it, but I'm vlogging, talking to you guys, I'm vlogging, in my mindset. You can correct me if you're like, no, you're going to be out and about to vlog, to make it, I, I don't know. Um, is the video vlog, the vlog. But I actually attempted to go out and about, I did three of them this weekend, in three separate different areas, and uh, they sucked, point blank. I. I don't know that I have the right equipment for vlogging. Well, I think I have the right equipment. I don't have the right lens for vlogging. It's not a wide enough lens. Um, and just understanding my stabilization is way off compared to what I see others have. Like, you know, people riding on skateboards and stabilization was way better than just me walking. It was pretty horrible. So anyway, I attempted that. I'd like to do some outside, out and about stuff. Um, I'm going to keep learning how to make that happen. I have talked with a number of local breweries um, that make root beers, and I'm going to go sit down with them. That'll be a little bit easier because we'll just do tripod, sit down, taste some of their root beers, and talk to them. Really excited to be bringing that to you guys, but I want to get out and about, and maybe it'll be more just take a tripod, and we'll go sit at a park and do our review there, and that's probably what it's going to end up being for now until I learn how to vlog in, in the outside and stable lot anyway. But I do want to talk about the fear of the camera today as we get into this. Let's go ahead and give this our sniff. Oh, wow. Wow. I wasn't was I a little bit of it was not what I was expecting. I'm not even sure how to explain it. It's kind of pepperminty. It's not. Yeah. Very good. Um, wow. It's got a nice creamy flavor to it. And of course they use the real cane sugar so their flavors tend to hang around a little bit. It did dissipate a little bit quicker than I was hoping. Um, it's got a really nice smell to it. It's got a nice dark red color. Um, I like it. Wow, that is, that's very tasty. Um, it's got a really, it's not like, there's not like a, a cherry flavor to it, it's just a creamy birch beer. It happens to be red, so you kind of assume there's cherry to it. Um, it's really nice flavoring to it. Nothing in here that says um, anything about cherry or anything. It's just got a pure birch oils, which you can feel that, that little bit of vanilla and citrus that's in there, the that nice creaminess. Really well done, as usual. I really like their stuff, and I like that they're embossing their bottles. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, getting over a cold. Uh, the only problem is they label them. I wish they didn't. I wish they actually printed on the bottles with the embossing. There's something about that that, for me, is exciting versus having the label stuck on. Because then I'm like, oh, it's just like any other bottle, so I'm going to slap the label on it. 
I like when there's an artistic piece to it. That's nah, just me. But this is really good. Definitely thumbs up on this. Um, really good, but I want to talk about the camera. And I was just at Vid Summit and volunteered there, which if you want to go to one of these events and you really don't have the ching, the money to go, I had just come back from an event in Vegas with the Think Media team and really didn't, you know, the numbers weren't necessarily there for a hotel, all that other stuff. To go there, I just said, hey, I'll volunteer. And they're like, right on, volunteer. So let's talk about the camera. I got to do to have this conversation with a number of people that are up and coming or that are deciding to get into to what we are doing um, and to some people that have done this for a while and the fears of the camera. It's amazing how many people still fear the camera. And I was listening to, I had this thought, I had this conversation with people and I just recently watched Cody Wayner, I think is his last name. I'll put a, a link up here to his page. Really neat vlogger, been doing it um, since the beginning of this year, pretty much daily vlogging, really cool stuff. I wish I could emulate him to some degree. Uh, he's just doing really cool stuff. But one of the things that he talked about, and it's almost verbatim from what I had talked with a couple of people at Vid Summit about, um, was the camera being out and about. And I don't have a problem when I'm out side these walls. I'm fine with looking at my camera talking and just the people in the peripherals, they're there. That doesn't bother me. I've done this a few times uh, where it's just a static uh, image type situation where it's on a tripod. I'm not walking or riding a skateboard. Um, and I'll just say, I don't talk to the camera. Bottom line, I don't talk to the camera. I'm looking at the camera, but I'm looking past that lens and I'm talking to you. I'm talking to those that have stopped to go ahead and watch what I'm doing here, invest in my life a little, hopefully I'm investing in their life a little, and we're, we're trading off a little and I'm able to give them a little bit of fun. I try to make these things fun and exciting. This one's not so much fun and exciting as much as I'm hoping I'm imparting something onto them, those that might be thinking about wanting to vlog or just getting in front of a camera and talking. The camera's there. You need to look at the camera. You can't be like, you can't look at the screen that's off to the side. You gotta look into the camera. But I'm talking to you. I'm having a conversation with you. And that's really what it's about, uh, is, is us communicating. You're sitting here, we're talking, we're trying some of this wonderful uh, creamy birch beer, and that's kinda it. And we're having a conversation. Today we happen to be talking about having the conversation. Kinda different, but that's how I look at this, that's how I, I want this to come across, is you and I are sitting down just as individuals and communicating. And as this channel grows, I'm hoping that through comments and interactions and being out and about, I can run into folks and it can become more depth, that we can really have conversations and communications and you know, really get to know one another and be there as a community. Um, that's the hope, that's the dream, that's what this is about. So anyway, I know it's a little bit longer than normal and it wasn't as much reviewing of this as this conversation, but I thought it was time to have this conversation because I'd like to do this a little bit more or integrate this type of thing with the reviews of great things like this. This is really great tasting soda. Um, or a birch beer, so total thumbs up on this one, highly recommend it. Really just want to share my subscribe pillow. I finally got a subscribe pillow. I ordered it five weeks ago, finally came in, super stoked on that one. Anyway, this has been episode 61, Root Beer Library. I'm your host, Matthew. Hopefully, we may have connected a little bit more uh, through this episode, and I uh, appreciate you guys, and as always, drink responsibly, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.